What is going on YouTube? It is Mesa Sean and back at it with Destiny, but this time we're going to be talking mostly about PvE and co-op and taking a look at some exotic weapons that we obviously could not use in the beta version, but you will see that we are definitely going to be needing these things and you'll be blown away by some of the abilities and the numbers on the attacks on these things are, are pretty intense, but uh, Destiny released a video a couple days ago. I'll link that in the description below regarding raids and nightfall missions and a uh, pretty cool video definitely check it out really uh, goes in depth with some of the designers some really cool footage in there and when you look at just what this game entails from a uh, PVE perspective we're gonna work this game's gonna keep us plenty busy for a long time okay so check out that video and uh, let's jump into these exotic weapons okay so the first one we're gonna look at is called the plan C it's a fusion rifle so it's a special weapon got to pick up those green ammo uh, boxes but look at this thing. It's a fusion rifle. It looks like it's got a bayonet on the end. So I'm not sure how that's going to work in terms of like a melee or lunge or something like that. But let's go into the unlocks. Uh, your first thing is going to be it creates arc damage. Okay. But your next set of uh, upgrades is going to be first is going to be your field choke. Which basically is going to give you more range and impact. But you're going to get a boost in recoil. Which is not fun. The next one's going to be uh, CQB ballistics. So that's going to really tone down the recoil. But you're going to take a hit on the range. Next one's going to be Aggressive Ballistics. We're familiar with this, or at least I am from the Darius C. More predictable recoil. You get better impact, but you got a much shorter range and you got a hella recoil. But that's fine with me because I use a Darius just to uh, spray people at close range, which leads me to the next unlock, and this is really cool, Hip Fire. So the weapon has a bonus accuracy when firing from the hip, and that's what I love to do with you know some of my special weapons. Uh, your next upgrade is going to be just increasing the weapon's attack. But now we got some cool things here. First thing is going to be what's called skip rounds, okay? And these are ceramic jacketed rounds that ricochet off hard surfaces. So can you imagine that? You go into a room where there's, say, a couple of enemies capping a flag in control, and you start shooting at the walls. You're probably going to get some kills from it, or at least inflict some damage on those guys. So that should be pretty interesting. But who knows how all this is going to work in PvP. We're really just trying to stick to PvE for these weapons that we're looking at here. Because the attack, look at this, 396 attack. Uh, your next thing you, that you could choose is going to be Relic Iron Rounds, right? So it says uh, that this ammunition is going to improve your impact, but you're going to have fewer rounds that you can carry in reserve. And then your last one is going to be what's called Field Wire Rounds. And it's basically um, a charged Field Wire Jacket Round that's just going to increase your impact. So you're going to have three of these things that you can choose from. And then your next one's going to be Plan C which basically charge and equip times uh, are very, very short immediately after you do a weapon swap. So that could be very helpful if, you know, if you're in a sticky situation and need to switch to your special gun. Very, very cool. Okay, so now we're looking at the Suros Regime, and look at this thing. It, it, first off, you can see it's got an extreme high rate of fire, but I've never seen a gun have more stability. And so I'm guessing this is going to be one of those guns that... Someone, it's really going to reward someone that's very accurate and can get their shots on, whether you're in PvE or PvP, because the impact's not that great, and the range is not that great, but it almost feels like a close quarter submachine. I'm picturing this to be a really good gun with the Hunter. If he's running around and trying to get up close to people, you got a real stable gun with a real high rate of fire, but low impact. So, let's get into the upgrades. So, first thing you can unlock is kinetic damage, and then your three set of unlocks next is going to be the soft ballistics, which... Is gonna um, you're gonna get less recoil, but you take a penalty to impact. But who's gonna want that? You already have a tremendous amount of stability. Next one is a field choke. You're gonna get more range and um, more impact, but increased recoil. I probably would take that because you already got a uh, very high stability. Third one's gonna be CQB ballistics again. Greatly reduced recoil, but a penalty to range. So I would probably stick with the field choke. Next one's gonna be focused fire. So that means when zoomed, this weapon fires slower but causes additional damage. So that's gonna reward people that are aiming down sight. Next one is just going to be your standard upgrade for increasing the weapon's attack. Now these next three, let's take a look at, you're going to get your skip rounds, which we talked about in the last weapon. Ceramic jacketed rounds that ricochet off hard surfaces. That's going to be really interesting. Then your relic iron rounds again. So 
dramatically improves your impact, but fewer rounds can be carried in reserve. And then the third one is called Colony Rounds. So it says that these smart rounds have a swarm intelligence, allowing you to carry more in your reserve and enhancing impact. So it'll be really interesting. <laughs> and then your last one's basically your overall Suros regime upgrade. So the bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health when dealing damage. That's going to be a huge factor when you finally level this thing up all the way if uh, your final rounds can actually deal, you know, this bonus damage and actually give you some health back. So that's really, really cool. Looking forward to finding this thing. So next one we're going to be talking about is the Bad Juju Pulse Rifle. And that's actually, as mentioned in that... Uh, Raids and Night Missions video that I, I'll link in the description. So it's a pulse rifle, so it's got a uh, low rate of fire, decent impact, really, really fast reload. Stability looks decent, range not so great, but let's jump into the abilities. The first, the first thing you can open up is going to be void damage, or you can open up as full auto. That's going to be pretty useful, because I'm not very, very good. Well, I'm not good at all of pulse rifles. Next set of three unlocks, you can choose from a soft ballistics, less recoil, you take a penalty to impact. Another field choke, so more range and impact, increased recoil. I'd probably go for that because your impact's not that great. CQB ballistics, greatly reduced recoil, but you can take a penalty to range. I'm probably going to stick with the field choke on that one. Next one, you're going to get that hip fire upgrade again. That's sweet. Then your standard upgrade for increasing the weapon's attack. Then your next three, once again, you got those skip rounds to bounce and ricochet off uh, hard surfaces. You're going to have those relic iron rounds again. So it's just going to, it's ammunition that really improves your impact, but fewer rounds can be carried in reserve. And then your last one's going to be those field wire rounds. So a fully charged field wire round is going to enhance impact. Then your last one is called the String of Curses, where it says this weapon reloads instantly and increases damage for a short time after each kill. So you're definitely going to want to be leveling up this gun. All right, so now we're looking at the Pocket Infinity Fusion Rifle Special Weapon. So you got to grab those green ammo boxes. Right off the bat, you can see extremely low charge rate, very high impact, really good reload speed. Stability, less to be desired, and range also less to be desired. But let's see what the uh, upgrades can do for us. First one's going to be Solar Damage. Then your next set of three you could choose from is going to be Accurized Ballistics. So you're going to get some more range, some more impact, but you're going to get some increased recoil. And stability's not so great as is. Then you have the option to put a field choke on there, so more range, more impact, but again, increased recoil. Then you got a linear compensator, which gives you a more predictable recoil, and you get a slight boost to range and impact, but more recoil. So I would probably stay with the linear compensator just because even though it gives you more recoil, you're gonna get a more predictable recoil, which means hopefully you can manage it a little better. Next upgrade is going to be a surplus, which I don't know how this is going to work. It just says expect to find more ammo for this weapon. Perhaps it's just when you're going over dead enemies and you're picking up ammo, you might get a special surplus or some extra that you wouldn't normally expect. Next standard upgrade is just going to be increasing the weapon's overall attack. That's good. Then your set of three you could choose from next is going to be armor piercing rounds. So it's going to slow down the handling of the weapon, but you're going to have these iridium core rounds that's going to over penetrate targets. So I'm assuming that's going to be really good for your bosses or bosses because I'm from New York. Uh, next choice is high caliber rounds. So it says that these oversized rounds built to stagger targets and leave them reeling. Their mass makes a more hard, uh, makes a weapon harder to handle. So I'm probably leaning more towards <laughs> the armor piercing rounds, frankly. And then your last ones, those skip rounds again, that are going to ricochet off hard surfaces. So out of those three, I'm I'm more interested in those armor piercing rounds. And then your last one for the pocket of fitty, just an overall upgrade, which makes it fire in full auto mode and has a chance to return rounds that miss to the magazine. That's really that's like magic, right? That's going to be really interesting. So very cool gun. Okay, last gun that I want to go over is called Patience and Time. It's as if, if you've got it, they'll never see it coming. So, another special weapon, so you got to get your green ammo crates to pick that up. Looks like it's got huge range, huge stability, very, very accurate. Slow reload, slow rate of fire, obviously, and not too much impact. So this kind of reminds me of like a marksman rifle more than anything, as opposed to um, a heavy sniper rifle, one-shot kill. So let's look at the upgrades. So your first one's going to be arc damage. Then your next set of three you could put on there is your Accurized Ballistics, so more range, more impact, but you're going to get a hit on a recoil, increased recoil. Next one, CQB Ballistics, so again, greatly reduce that recoil, but you're going to take a penalty on uh, range. You might want to choose this one because we actually already have good range. And uh, last one is called Smart Drift Control, and it gives you more predictable and controllable recoil, but you take a little bit of a penalty to range, which may, may be considered because you got pretty high range with this. 
Next upgrades could be called Third Eye, and the radar stays active while aiming down this weapon's sights. That, that, you ever notice that when you're playing in any type of mode, as soon as you ADS, you basically lose your minimap. So that's why if you look in some of my live CODs, I'm constantly switching you know, between ADS and hip fire, looking because I constantly want to see where the enemies are coming from. Now, next one's just going to be your standard upgrade to increase the weapon's attack, and then your three we're going to talk about. First one's going to be your armor piercing rounds, so again, it's going to be uh, something that's going to slow down the handling of the weapon, but you're going to have these heavy rounds to over-penetrate targets, so again, that's going to be good for bosses. Next one is these uh, relic iron rounds, so uh, it improves your impact, but you've got fewer rounds that you can actually carry in your reserves. And then your last one's going to be, again, those field wire rounds. A charge field wire jacket it's going to enhance the impact so i'm assuming these are special rounds similar to what you would see in the pulse rifles and you got to charge them up and uh you get an increase in impact and then your final upgrade for patience and time is you gain an active camouflage while aiming down sights now i wonder how that's going to work is it basically are you going to be kind of like a cloak type thing where if you're aiming down sight you blend into the background i don't know that could be really really cool or really really annoying i don't know and that is it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, there's just a plethora of things we have not even seen yet. I just wanted to go over those really cool guns with you. There are some other things, the rocket launchers and some other armor things. Let me know in the comments if you want me to go over those, too. I'll probably make a video on the pieces of armor that have been found so far. There's a bunch of rocket launchers. I'm not a big fan of rocket launchers. Even though towards the end of uh, beta, I was getting noob tube a few times, and maybe that's probably why I'm not a big fan of rocket launchers. But uh, that's it, guys. If you enjoy this content, please drop me that like. It is much appreciated. And if you haven't already, follow me on the Twitter at MesaShawn. Also, check out my um, this website called TalkingAboutGames.com. It's a basically a gaming website from everything from news, blogs, uh, podcasts, everything you could think of. And uh, I've just been brought on as a contributor. I'm pretty excited about that. And also check out my live stream, twitch.tv forward slash Mesa Sean. All right, and that's it, guys. I am out. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.